All right, guys, last day for you to take advantage of our holiday, Christmas, end of year special for you to get over 50% off at kagornogolf.com. What that means for you for 2023 is a specific, detailed, personalized practice plans that we build custom for you, which is exactly what you need to get what you want. You and I want the same thing. We want consistency, reliability. We wanna beat our buddies. We wanna shoot lower scores. But when you're trying to do that all by yourself, it's very, very difficult. When you have a coach, a community, accountability, those things all become possibilities. And to make that easier for you, that's why we're offering this 50% off discount. You get 12 months of coaching for the price that people pay me for two hours. You also get over $3,000 worth of training videos, our live seminars, our master classes, our member library available nowhere else, and you get our community support. All of that for 50% off our normal price. Obviously, we can't offer this forever, so we are gonna offer this from today through January 1st. If you wanna play better golf next year, I'm telling you, these are the solutions that are gonna help you. I hope that you'll take advantage. We'll put the link down in the description down below. All right, guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the takeaway. Now, this video stems uh, from me working with one of our members recently who was like, listen, Eric, I've been struggling with my takeaway for years. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to feel. Can you just give me a drill that I can be doing at home that I could always refer back to to make sure I get the swing started correctly? This is what he and I came up with. I really like it. I think that it's something if you're someone who struggled with your takeaway, not sure what to do, and you just want to get that part down so you don't have to think about it this is the drill that i really like and there's a couple key spots we want to hit in motion to make sure we get this takeaway correct now the point of making sure we get the swing started correctly and get the takeaway in line like you're going to see with some of these players on the screen is to get ourselves started correctly so we have less to make up for later on okay the more we can do good at setup during the takeaway, during the backswing, the easier it will be to have a good downswing and repeat that downswing. So the point of taking the time to do this is lay those foundations correctly. Now, as you'll see on the screen, there's a couple of checkpoints that we really like for the takeaway. And the first one that we don't talk about as much is really just the first foot. So here's what this gentleman who remained nameless and I worked on. We said during the takeaway, when your hands work back, by the time your hands get even with your right thigh from face on, I'd like to have a couple things happen. Number one, from my perspective and your perspective when you do this drill, the club head should be right over the ball target line. So it's outside of the hands. And the hands will be over this secondary club that I put on the ground, which I have kind of right over my shoelaces. So the club head for the first foot if this is the ball target line that goes forever, my lines might not be perfect with this range, but kind of assume this is the ball target line, the club head should stay right on that, and the butt of the club should stay pointed towards my body. Now, my hands from my setup position, from my perspective and the golfer perspective, should go right over this second club. Now, if you're looking from the down the line camera, the club head should, re in reality, have gone slightly inside of that. But from my perspective, as I'm looking at it, that club head's right over that line. Now, note when I do that as well, the butt of the club stays pointed straight at my body. So if you drew a line down my hands, all I really want, let's say they're over my toe line, we want to have the hands kind of just work straight back where they are. I don't want to go too far out. A little in's fine, but I want to kind of just straight back with that and keep the club head nicely outside the hands. Butt of the club pointed towards me. What the bad would look like would be as I start to go, this is what this gentleman was doing. The club head quickly got inside the line and my hands quickly got outside the line. That was too much arm rotation. There's other things, but we wanted to go as non-mechanical to start with as possible and just have some cues to say, hey, listen, grab a club, get that butt of the club, stay pointed towards you. Even do a couple with each hand to feel what that feels like. As the butt of the club stays pointed towards me, that club head stays right on that ball target line, and my hand stays straight in. That's what my left hand feels like. I'm gonna get the same sensation with my right hand. I'm not getting the club outside of that or inside of that, staying right on that line. My hands aren't going out or in, they're staying right on that line. So that's the first checkpoint we're looking for. It's just from here, just control that. One rehearsal, butt of the club at me, Hands in club in line, two rehearsals. Now I'm gonna hit with that same feel. And if I was practicing, outside of I hit a nice shot there, 
I would be looking on video and seeing, did I do those two pieces together? Did I hit those checkpoints? When my hands are at my thigh, is the butt of the club pointed more or less at my stomach? Let's say my belt buckle instead of here. I see this all the time. Butt of the club pointed towards the right. That's too far inside. Right out in front of me like that. So same feels, club head over the ball target line. Hands stay right in, one rehearsal, two rehearsals. Feel the same thing and hit. And the, the key point being, the better and better I get at that spot, the less I'm gonna have to do later on. This gentleman I was working with, and you might struggle with the same things, his tendency was inside early, over the top late, and then he had to stand up to try and fix that. He came to me saying, hey, I wanna fix this early extension. I'm like, no, 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 listen, we gotta fix the earlier pieces, which is likely the same for you. Get the thing started correctly, right, to begin with. Now, from this spot, you know, his next question naturally was here, what do I do from there? Well, after I have the butt of the club pointed towards me, the hands in club in line, I mean, realistically, once I get the club parallel to the ground, you know, I'm looking for the club head to be even with or just outside my hands, and I wanna be right outside or on that secondary club I have. Those are the two pieces I'm looking for. But to start with, just get this beginning motion the same. So club head on the outside, hands on the inside, butt of the club at me. Most of that motion is getting controlled with my chest and shoulders. So there's not an excessive amount of wrist hinge, there's not an excessive amount of arm rotation. I don't have to set anything early. It should feel like the majority of that comes from chest and shoulder motion. I'm not turning my hips a ton there. By the time I get to this position, my chest and shoulders only turn like 30 degrees. So it's mostly chest and shoulders right there. Club head stays outside my hands. Butt of the club pointed towards me. Let's do one more. And that would be the procedure when you practice this is sticks are down, two rehearsals, one hit, go back and look at the video, see where you're at relative to those checkpoints, and then exaggerate the opposite feels accordingly. So if you feel like you're doing this correctly and you go at real speed and you whip inside, you have to do those things more. You might actually have to feel like the hands go inside of the stick and the club head goes out. Now, I, I, do I really want you to do it in a swing? No, I want you right here and right here at those checkpoints, but you might need to feel this. So if you're struggling with your takeaway, put this in, give yourself 20 or 30 reps a couple days a week, utilize video, watch this over several times for your takeaway, share this with a friend if they have the same things. Oftentimes it's less to do, less information, just finding the right way to train it. So I think this is universally good. If you struggle with your takeaway, give this one a shot.